when we did Maria de Buenos Aires a few years ago at Paris en Ponce, and we realized how excited our audience was to see an opera that has elements of dance, in this case, the tango infectious dance. Maestro Parodi, who conducted Maria de Buenos Aires, and myself started talking about the idea of taking Carmen, arguably the most famous opera in the repertoire, and doing a brand new version, shorter version of it, that will feature flamenco as the main theme in the opera. That plan was shelled for a few years, and then the coronavirus hit us. And so we decided to act on our idea of doing a brand new version of Carmen that features flamenco. We got in touch with an amazing duo from New York, and it's the flamenco dancer Sonia Ola and her partner Ismael Fernandez, who are with us as creative partners in this production of Carmen. What Maestro Parodi and I did is distill the opera by Bizet, remove all the major chorus crowd scenes, and create a real tour de force that keeps all the most famous numbers in the opera. And what happens is that instead of four acts of Carmen, we have four scenes that you can tell in a very simple way. So this production of Carmen features some of the greatest stars in our company of players. It features an amazing tenor that you saw here in Pagliacci, Trace Mager, who's seen Don Jose. It features the role debut of Meg Marino as Carmen. Michael Mays returns as Escamillo. And Jasmine Habersham is making her role debut as Michaela. And my colleague, Tom Key, is playing the narrator, the bar owner, Lila Spastia. It's going to be a very exciting production, and I look forward to seeing you at the Big Tent.